13 wins, 13 finishes for a former special service agent who literally put his life on the line while fighting terrorists in West Africa. The UFC is like a weekend at Disneyland for Benoit Saint Denis, who has established himself as the scariest dude in the lightweight division, where his next target is veteran Dustin Poirier, who is really nervous heading into the duel, in which he's surprisingly the underdog. There is nothing by the numbers that you could point to to justify how Dustin Poirier is an underdog. But maybe the odds makers know things that we don't. That San Denis guy is a f***ing killer. Savage. He's, a, he's a such a killer. This killer was born and raised in the city of Nimes, where he started training judo under the tutelage of his father, a skilled judo practitioner in the French army. He was 8 years old when he started training, and at 16, he was already a black belt. A few years later, Saint Denis accepted the call of duty and joined the army to serve in the 1st Marine Infantry Paratroopers Regiment in the French Army Special Forces Command. As a soldier, BDS battled some of the most notorious terrorist groups in West Africa and got a number of casualties under his belt. The youngest dude to ever be a part of the French Special Forces was honoured for his bravery with the Medal of the Nation's Gratitude and the Combatant's Cross in 2017. Around the same time, Saint Denis entered an MMA trial organized by Daniel Warren, the renowned MMA coach who has trained guys like Lyoto Machida, Anderson Silva, and Dan Henderson. The Frenchman beat 29 other guys to pass the test with ease, and that's how he started training MMA under the tutelage of the legendary coach. A year later, Benoit Saint Denis took early retirement from the French army to take up MMA full time. With a high level skill set coaching and with a background in actual combat, Saint Denis was always going to be better than the guys he was fighting early in his career, and he picked each of them apart with ease. In his MMA debut, BDS went for a few early exchanges before taking the fight to the mat, where after a few scrambles, he locked in a guillotine and finished his opponent. With just one MMA win under his belt, Saint Denis earned a shot at the Stare Down Fighting Championship welterweight title, which proved just how good he was even at a young age. The title fight was an absolute war, where Saint Denis as well as his opponent, who was twice his size, had their moments on the mat, but the French star managed to secure victory by a submission. Saint Denis continued to rack up victories in France, Belgium, Slovenia, Sweden, and Italy to complete his European domination and pile up a record of eight finishes in nine fights with one no contest. With a little over two years of professional fighting experience under his belt, Saint Denis signed with the UFC as he had planned because he had only two years worth of savings to spend on his MMA career and gave himself only that time to get to the highest level. Anything over two years or more would have forced him into taking up a different job, but his hard work paid off in 2021 when the Frenchman made his debut on short notice against Eliseu Zaleski de Santos at welterweight. The fight was a one-sided beatdown which forced the UFC to fire the Russian referee who refused to stop the fight despite BDS taking a ton of unnecessary damage. BDS ultimately lost by a decision and to make matters worse, his opponent was caught cheating a few months after their fight when he popped for steroids and was handed a one year suspension. Since the suspension came months after the fight, it was ruled as a no contest. Nevertheless, not only did BDS focus all his energy on a comeback, but he also did so with a bang against Niklas Stolze, beating him up on the mat and submitting him in less than two rounds. A few months later, Saint Denis absolutely dismantled Gabriel Miranda by beating him from pillar to post and dropping him twice before the referee decided to jump in and pull the trigger. In his fourth UFC fight, Saint Denis derailed a massive hype train in the form of Ismail Bonfim, a BJJ who was beaten at his own game and then submitted with a vicious neck crank. Saint Denis continued his reign of terror against veteran Thiago Moises, who put up an excellent fight but ultimately had to give in due to BDS's aggression, pace, elite striking, and world class grappling. In his sixth UFC fight, Saint Denis melted Matt Frivola with a devastating head kick following a series of grappling exchanges. And in his Octagon interview, he put the entire division, especially BMW, 
IMF champion Justin Gaethje and lightweight kingpin Islam Mahachev on high alert. 14 career fights, Saint Denis has won 13 times with as many finishes, which is why he is touted as the next big thing in MMA and has managed to quickly climb his way to the number 12 ranking in the UFC lightweight division, but his first real test will be the next one at UFC 299 against former interim champion and multiple time title challenger Dustin Poirier, who at one point announced that the fight was off. Me and my management hadn't spoken in three days. I kept messaging him back. I was waiting on something to hear from them. I told them, I said, hey, if I forget what day it was. It might have been a Tuesday or a Thursday. I said, if by Thursday, you guys don't get back to me. I was speaking to my management. I said, I'm out. The fight was back on after the UFC's timely intervention and Poirier, who sits at the number three spot in the rankings, revealed that the reason why he agreed to fight Saint Denis was because he gives him the chills. To test myself, really, to see if I still got it. This guy's young, hungry, you know, on a streak, finished his last five opponents. That, you know, that makes me nervous. So I want to toss myself in the fire. That's, what, that's where I feel like I do my best work. And those are the kind of fighters I want to fight. Saint Denis understands who he's up against as well. And he's not taking the diamond lightly. He has a lot of experience. He is an, a former entering champion, of course. So it's really gonna be a test match for me. The fight is a tough one for both, especially for Dustin Poirier, who has everything to lose and nothing to gain against a dude who's literally a wrecking machine. He's a great striker. He's, he's like just, a He's a killer. He's just an assassin. He knows how to kill people. And he looks like he's selling real estate. He's probably killed people with rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like he knows how to kill people. He'll give up. He just, he gets what about it his done. Now, if you have any doubts about how good Benoit Saint Denis is, Michael Bisping thinks he's just as good as anyone Poirier has fought recently, like Justin Gaethje or Michael Chandler. Benoit might be ranked number 12, but when you compare him to some of the people that Dustin's been fighting recently, there's not much difference. Listen, Justin Gage is incredible, okay? Before that, it was Michael Chandler. Again, super exciting fighter, former Bellator champion. Benoit Saint Denis can compete with these people. The funny thing is, Justin Gaethje agrees with Michael Bisping. These are guys that are dangerous. They're young, they're hungry, they're confident, they're, they got crazy skills. Fighting is a dangerous game and chance is a, chance is a factor. And Joe Rogan, an absolute expert in the UFC and MMA community, has nothing but praise for Saint Denis and knows that he's the real deal. No one else wanted to fight this guy. Yeah, no one else wants to fight this guy and no one wants to fight Dustin either. What's his go-to? Everything. Every, Every, that's crazy. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's a great striker. He's, he's, like just, a he's a killer. He's just an assassin. He knows how to kill people. And he looks like he's selling real estate. He's probably killed people with rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows how to kill people. He'll give up. He about just he gets what about it his done. Jiu it's good. It's very good. Everything's good. It's very good. Across he fucked the board. up. Saint Denis, he, he strangled him. I mean, that's how he won that fight. Okay. Bro, he is good at everything. So will Benoit Saint Denis continue his reign of terror in the UFC? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out another one here.